Printing can take a while. To help, we use page setups. So please use page setups. Once they're set, we can do what's called a publish, and we can publish several drawings at once. It allows us to print more than one drawing at a time and multiple copies of it. The best part is that you don't even have to open up all the drawings, or any of them at all, really. There's a publish manager that you can use, and you can open it up while in any file and have it print any tab from any drawing, regardless if you've opened it up or not. This is why we use CAD. So to start, just open up any file, even just a blank file. Then type the word publish on the command line, or go to the application manager and go to the publish right here and click it. This brings up the publish manager. I love the publish manager. It's my best friend when it comes to printing. So you can do a lot of different things with this. You can add drawings to it, you can remove drawings, you can change the order that they're printed in, you can collate them, you can set up the number of prints, you can print to paper, you can print to PDF, you can print to a DWF, you can do all of these things with just a couple of commands while you go and sip your coffee, or tea, or soda, or whatever it is you like. So you have a lot of different things. When I started the command, it opened up the current file that I have open now and loaded it up in here. So it has three different uh, tabs that it's trying to print. My model tab, and you can tell it's a model because, well, it says model, plus it has this little AutoCAD symbol here. This symbol is for a paper space or layout tab page. I don't want any of these in here, so I'm going to select them all, just pick once, now hold on to the shift key and pick a second time, and everything in between those two choices will be highlighted. Now, uh, there's a plus and a minus here, that's to add or subtract drawings. I'm going to take them all away. Well, now we have nothing in here, so I'm going to add files. You can find something from your Autodesk 360, you know, the cloud. I'm going to go to my Chapter 13 page, and I'm going to pick all of these files. Yeah, you can pick all of them you want. You can put a lot of different ones. Now, you have a choice down here. I can include Model and Layout. I just want the Layout tabs, because that's where my drawings are. Otherwise, if I add just the models, that's not where my drawing is. That's where my model is. I don't want to print that out. I'm printing out my final set of drawings here. But I'm going to go ahead and load the model and layout so you can see some things. Pick Select, and they're all automatically loaded in. Pretty cool. Now, some of these have 3D capabilities to them if you're working in AutoCAD. And you can print to a 3D DWF, which is really cool. But we're not doing that. So what I'm going to do is select these that I want to remove and just remove them. The smart thing to do would be to not load them at all from the beginning, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. So if you get something loaded in here by accident, that's okay. You can pick it, you can right click, and you can say remove, or you can hold down the control key and pick one at a time, and then hit the minus button. So all this is the order that they're going to print in. This will be the first print, the second print, third, fourth, fifth, etc. Now this is what they're printing to, their default printer. Well none of these have a page set up made in them as you can see. So that's a problem. That's why it's so important for you to automatically create your page setups right away. That way you know exactly what they're going to publish to. So if these were all set up, I'd be done, I'd hit the publish command, and I'd just go to the printer and wait for them to all come out. So all of these prints, all of these drawings, all of them here would be printed out, and I don't have to worry about it. That's nice. Before Publisher came out, we had to open these up one at a time and print them out, and it was a very difficult task. So a lot of people came up with third-party applications that would batch print things for you, but now you don't have to. So once you have everything set up, you can look for page setups in the file. If you have one of these drawings selected, then you come here to the page setup, and you can look for them. So well, I don't have any. That's okay. I can import one. If I click import, I browse to the file I want, I find the page setup I want to use, and I load it in there. Once I have one loaded in here, I can select all of these drawings all at the same time, and make one change right here, if that's what I wanted to do. I can put down here the number of copies that I want to print. 
two, three, four, five, however many, you know, 100 even. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to accidentally send out 100 of these <laughs> to my printer. You can put a plot stamp on it. It will show you uh, drawing name, layout name if you want, date and time, which is very important, device name, paper size, plot scale, whatever. It'll put a little stamp on it, and you can see the preview. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right here. It's putting it at the bottom left of the screen. So that's nice. You can turn that off or on. The publish and background feature is kind of cool because what it does is it processes this printing job in the background, so your computer is multitasking, and then it allows you to continue working in AutoCAD. I suggest staying away from that if possible because it's super slow when it does that, because it's trying to do two things at once. And well, it does it, but it's painfully slow to continue working in AutoCAD that way. I suggest you don't. Just let it run, go take a break, just walk to the printer, get your prints, chat it up with the coworker, whatever you need to do. So you're going to print to whatever the default printer settings are, the way we have everything set up right now. But you can change that. I can change it right here. I can print everything to a PDF. So now I will make one great big PDF that has everything in it. So we can do that. And I want to do that to kind of show you what we're going to look like. Or you can print to DWF or just use the printer that's in the page setup. Now, we have different options. If I'm printing to a PDF or DWF or some other electronic file type, this is the location where that file is going to be saved at. If it's a multi-sheet file, meaning I'm putting all of these drawings into one PDF, so it has multiple pages to it, or if I want to create a unique PDF page or file for each sheet, I can do that. Typically, I've found that most people want to use the multi-sheet file and put it all together. It's a lot easier to manage that way. Now I can give it a name right here already, or I can prompt for name. I suggest you leave it at prompt for name, because otherwise you're going to have to manually set the name every time, and you don't want to accidentally overwrite a file. You can include or not include any layering information, because PDFs and DWFs can turn layers off and on. You can put a password on it if you want to protect it. Maybe you have secret files that you're making for the government spy agency, and you don't want it to fall in the wrong hands. You can put a password on it, etc. When you're done with that, click OK. Now, if you don't like the order of your files right here, you can select one or two and then click the up or down arrows, and that will move it down or move it up accordingly. Now, once you get everything set up the way you like it, you can save this. So, if you're going to work on a job that you're going to have to print multiple times, why load it up? Why make all the settings the same? over and over again. It's the same sort of thing with plotting and page setups. Why set up the printer every time? Set it up once, save it in a page setup. Get your publish list set up and save it. Click here on the save button. Give it a name and these are called DSD files. We'll call it project publish save. All right and now that's about it. Most everything else is good. We hit publish and we're done. I'm going to cancel this out. So, well, wait a minute, you didn't publish. Well, I'm going to show you, start the publish command, what I can do. Let's remove all of these. And now let's load our list that we just made. Project publish, it's a DSD file. Click load. Boom, it's all here. Everything's set up. I'm good to go. I didn't have to work hard at all, did I? Well, that's the point. <laughs> now I can hit publish, and we're going to make a great PDF. We're going to call this one Project Publish, and select. Now, this could take a while, and this one's working in the background, because I forgot to turn that off. But you can see it's working. If you look in the bottom right corner here, you see this little printer icon? It's moving. It tells you that there's a published job in progress. Well, now I'm working. So I can send this to the publisher for the client, and now I'm working for possibly another client. So I'm billing double time. So <laughs> this is great. Now you do what you want to do there. But that's the publish command. And you can batch print a lot of different drawings all at the same time with little effort. Now, once your drawing or your publish set is finished printing or plotting, you'll get this little pop up. 
It'll say, hey, look, I'm all done. And in the meantime, I was able to get some work done. While that was publishing, I paused the video here and then I got some other files ready for our next section. So I was able to do two things at once. Now I want to show you the fruit of our labors. If we go to where our PDF was saved at, Project Publish PDF, you can see that it's a file that's about 1.8 megabytes in size. Let's open it up and it will open up right in my Adobe PDF Reader, or whatever PDF Reader software that you have. Now we included our layer information, so you can see right here, there are different layers that are involved. So I can turn some of these off or on, or I can just close this out of the way. But this is one of the drawings that we made. This is an AutoCAD TrueType font example file that we have. I didn't open it up before in any of the lessons, but I included it in here so that we had a different type of drawing to print out. This one's mostly text. But up here in my reader page, I can go through the different pages. I'm in one of 14. So I printed out 14 drawings to one file while I was working on something else. And that's a great trick. This is a sheet two, sheet three, here's another drawing. And while I'm in here, you know, I can zoom around, I can pan, I can look at a lot of different things. This one should look familiar to you. Sheet four, five, and how about this one? So I was able to do all of this while I did something else. Now that's a cool trick. So that's why you need to set up your page setups and then set up a publisher list file and save it. You can always reuse it for later printing.